welcome to the On Demand Store Trends 3500i webinar. My name is James Dykowski. I'm a senior sales and solutions engineer for the Store Trends product line. I will be quickly walking you through the latest Store Trends 3500i features and functionality. There, these, of course, are in addition to all of the existing features that have brought Store Trends to where it is today. So let's get started. Uh, American Megatrends, at a glance, we've been in business for nearly 30 years. We are the BIOS market leader. Our eight seconds of fame comes every time you've booted a computer and seen the AMI triangle. Uh, if you have used RAID or any remote management on HP, Dell, Supermicro, or whomever, then you have also used AMI OEM MegaRack products. Store Trends was launched following the asset sale of the MegaRaid controller card to LSI Logic. Mega Raid was created by AMI in 1996 and became the most used RAID card worldwide. With an extensive background in the RAID technology, we have launched the StoreTrends product line for SAN and NAS. Now with over 100 patents and data storage and backup for StoreTrends products, there's a lot more technology than just powering up a bunch of disks to share out. The recent growth of solid state drives in IT environments is simple. SSDs are green as they pull less power and also create less heat than their counterparts. The market is also able to accept SSDs more because competition is growing, therefore the price is coming down and the technology has advanced tremendously. With the price becoming more attractive to institutions, the technology is becoming more mainstream in implementation. In this technology, the compatibility of SSDs with trim and wear leveling was a bear and now all of these functions that were put off to the operating system are now actually available within making these operations more seamless and efficient. And of course performance. Uh, as you can see in the graph, two SSDs in a realistic workload can handle an 8K mixed random I.O. load of you know, 67% reads, 33% writes, even with SSD misses going down to hard drives. Um, that same workload as 96 15K SAS drives running 100% random reads. Uh, this comparison with writes isn't even close. Uh, the requirement for this many IOPS is probably not necessary for everybody, but in any environment with substantial IOP requirements requiring more than just a single enclosure, should really look at SSD with the surrounding technology just because of the potential power, heat savings that can be achieved, um, with the, the prices of SSDs now becoming more reasonable. The performance that is available by SSDs opens up a whole new window for consolidating storage environments down to the bare minimum worth of rack space and storage units. Store Trends support solid state drives from 200 gigs all the way up to 2 terabytes, so flash capa capacity has increased vastly. AMI's latest technology is surrounded with performance and, effici and, and efficiency. Hybrid arrays can give you performance with a smaller footprint if the storage technology is developed and implemented correctly. Focusing from disk to volume, we will briefly discuss the effects of the latest StoreTrends patented technologies to improve the all-around capabilities for the StoreTrends 3500i and all other StoreTrends products going forward. With SSD caching and SSD tiering, StoreTrends can take advantage of the benefits for both technologies. Caching is normally known as fast and expensive, while tiering is known as cost affordable but slow. Together in store trends, data tr retrieval is now fast and affordable. The first SSD technology uh, that we'll talk about is utilizing the SSDs for caching. The idea is that most other storage vendors either use SSDs for tiering only, of which is slow to changes in data access, or they use caching through NVRAM, reducing the effective space and dramatically increasing the cost. As most of you know, the goal of caching is to give immediate response to incoming I.O. by focusing on the most recently accessed blocks or areas of the disk. Tiering as a data placement function has proven uh, to be a high, have a high percentage hit ratio, but the low percentage misses by random accesses or by the top tier being full must be handled. Caching is the answer to this. For read caching, a block from the disk must be read in order to realize that it is of any recent importance since it is being accessed. As with all caching, the initial block is accessed and then placed into the cache to have it available for any repeat occurrence. This block is being placed into SSDs. Now it has the increased performance in the event that it is retrieved again. Also, since the block is RAID protected in the hard drive layer, 
StoreTrimps is able to keep all read cache in a RAID 0 format to increase the available overall space of the SSDs. Now for write caching, StoreTrimps has allocated approximately 30% of the available SSD caching space for mirroring blocks that come in as writes. They are mirrored to protect the data as they are new incoming writes. StoreTrends 3500i units start with 64 gigs worth of caching for writes, which greatly exceeds the market. And StoreTrends supports up to 2 terabyte SSDs, as I said before, to give it much more space to scale this percentage up. As it seems like a simple technology, a more advanced piece of, uh, a more advanced piece of this is the integration with our pre-existing StoreTrends workflow management to ensure that this data is cleared to hard drives during low I.O. operations as efficiently as possible. StoreTrends' other main performance-focused technology is the usage of SSDs for tiering. Tiering has been a StoreTrends feature for years, so the tiering integration was simple for SSDs, but with many additional features to make management and data access more intuitive and efficient. The goal for tiering is based around the idea that the most recently accessed blocks are continually going to be accessed. Although this methodology is not 100% accurate in the real-world environment, it is accepted and accommodated through the existing store trends tiering technology. The difference for store trends is that no block is duplicated in the SSD layer between the caching or the tiering to ensure that all of the SSD space is efficiently used since it is as expensive as the performance that it provides. The store trends tiering outside of this works as it always has. Recently accessed blocks are promoted from the lower performing hard drive tiers. The least recently accessed blocks are demoted from the SSD tier to make more space available. All of this demotion, again just like the caching, follows the StoreTrends workflow management, management and only exists to reduce the I.O. load during the peak hours of the day and ensure that the background functions of the array do not impact performance for any and all business critical applications. Okay, so looking further into the structure of tiering What's the point? Here we simply depict tier zero as all SSD space. So we're kind of generalizing that area the, of caching and tiering as there are no duplicate blocks in that level. The lower tiers basically are the least used, but they do RAID protect the least performance intensive space that is sitting in the read only area of the caching drives. So that space is, is available everywhere and it is RAID protected in all, in all cases. Conceptually, the volumes blocks must reside within a tier within the system. Tier residency allows us to choose what performance we feel is adequate for particular volumes. In the example, we give SQL and VDI maximum performance SSD space that will basically overflow into tier 1 15k SAS space for blocks that aren't heavily utilized or in the event that the tier 0 becomes full. The dynamics volume, for example, is primarily residing in tier 1 with overflow into tier 2 in the same regard as tier 0 for the uh, higher performance volumes. We'll show how in a second, but in case we want to increase the performance and or SSD space for any or all of these volumes, we can simply select them to add them into caching or uh, change the tiering levels as we need. In a true centralized storage environment, there are many different types of I.O., not just high performance like we just talked about. SSDs to 7.2K nearline SAS drives have very similar sequential performance. This could come from a variety of applications such as video streaming or backups. Our example here includes Symantec and SQL Backup here to where they don't need to waste SSD cache or tier space or even 15K SAS drive space since the difference in performance is nominal. So, being able to configure these settings are critical in not wasting the high performance space of the SSDs. There are default settings that enable the user to simply configure and go, but for optimal settings, there is a simple way to adjust and maximize the StoreTrends 3500i. First of all, caching can be selected to cache everything that comes into the unit, as most all other vendors do. With StoreTrends, you can select a volume to not waste the caching space and not cache anything, or for that volume to only cache random IOs that come in. This allows you to fine tune your settings based on priority or usage type. Kind of like if you had heavy reads, you can select read only cache. Or if you need to reduce or increase your cache usage in optimizing your SSD cache space. The 
The same mentality flows into the new tier residency logic. Here you can adjust what, a tier's uh, what, what tier a volume's blocks are residing in to increase the usage of a higher performing tier or reduce the SSD space used by a lower performing volume and clear it for other volumes that may need it. The default settings are um, available as they always have been just for ease of use, but to optimize the space in the tiers, we can get down to specifically how many times we, requi we require a block to be accessed before it gets promoted. If you notice that the top tier is never full, you can decrease the promotion value to bring up more blocks on a tier by tier basis. Or if you want to, you can just simply decrease the demotion policy. Conversely, if you see that the SSD tier is 100% full, then you can increase the access requirements of a block to migrate up or increase the demotion policy so that it demotes once a block is merely a few days old. You can even manage when you would like store trends to demote blocks. Here we show the options for selecting the tiering to stop because say you know you'll be copying a lot of data at this time or you can tell the unit to only do these background functions during the evening and weekend. Or if you'd like to, even easier, you can use what we've been using for years and allow the store trends workflow management policies to observe when the arrays are under load and then just limit the required background functions um, and then have them basically increase during off-peak hours to ensure that you're getting the best performance possible from the store trends array. Uh, the new manage trends, it gives additional functionality including an integrated SSH management console for simple custom uh, scripting capabilities, full smart output for complete disk level analysis, new network performance from total throughput to simple receive and transmit on a per interface level. Um, also, the single view health management screen gives live network, CPU, memory, and visual disk I.O. usage. Selecting the rear view, you can see fan speeds, power supply status, network interfaces status, um, and basically giving you an all-around visual view of the hardware status and its usage uh, within there. Altogether, the latest features are rolled into what StoreTrends has always had available, now giving performance efficiency by having no duplicate blocks and taking advantage of the benefits for both technologies at a fraction of the cost. 1G and 10G continue to be available with active-active controller I.O. as a high throughput option. Simplified management with full monitoring of everything from disk capacity, IOPS, block sizes, and utilized throughput. Uh, the advanced snapshot technology using redirect on write giving near zero degradation to ensure that performance is maintained even during taking snapshot or while taking snapshots. And then we can take these snapshots, take these changes, and actually replicate them. Replication is efficiently done by optimizing the WAN then reducing the changes that are sent with deduplication and compression algorithms. StoreTrends has multiple options for the required uh, controller redundancy, and the StoreAid team is available all day every day here in Norcross, Georgia, with full email alert monitoring, proactive driver placement, and if, if needed, four hour on-site. We stand behind our product by giving a free proof of concept, installation, and training with a very affordable, all-inclusive feature set and 100% money back guarantee. Well, it looks like it sums us up. Thank you very much for joining me today to listen about the latest StoreTrends 3500i features. We are very excited about the future of storage and our product. StoreTrends has now over a thousand installations and growing daily. Please call with any questions that you may have regarding the StoreTrends features, references, or if you'd like a live demonstration of the unit. Thank you very much again.